In my second piece of this Bridgerton series, I was inspired to make a Regency style lantern, but of course it's a little modernized with my own twist on it. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. Okay, so we're gonna start with the candlestick again from the Dollar Tree, and we have another shaped candlestick from the Dollar Tree, and we spray painted them, as you saw before. You can see this on my TikTok too, a Costilla Girl. And then I got a vase from the Dollar Tree. So this is $3. Um, I also picked up some ribbon from the Dollar Tree. So $4 for this lantern in total. Um, this can be kind of sticky and tricky to get the sticker off. So a trick that I have is to use nail polish remover. Okay, when you let it sit, it comes off easily. So now that we have that, I also like to use my clear Gorilla Glue grip um, too. We can see I use it often. Um, but also you can use the E6000 or E, I've heard 3000 I think works, but use clear so that you can't see. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take this that I'm gonna put inside of here. And so I'm gonna glue the bottom piece. You wanna make sure you have a lot of glue to really make sure it's adhering. Okay. Now this part, you gotta be very careful, it's kinda tricky. We're gonna place this in here carefully. Yes, we're gonna touch all the way to the bottom. And there we go, we wanna center it as much as possible. There might be a little glue residue, it's okay. It's going to dry clear, so it'll be okay. We're gonna let that just sit in the center as it dries. I know it kind of looks funny with the glass, but believe it or not, it is tintered. So there you go. That's the first step. The next piece is we're gonna put glue around here and place this directly on top so it looks like they're all together. Once it's really on there and you got a good enough amount, then we're going to Sometimes you might have to move that around, but that's okay. Place this directly on top so that it looks like it's all together. There we go. And I suggest letting this sit like this for about 24 hours so that it can fully seal. But honestly, you can probably come back in about four or five and it will be dry and ready to go. We'll put the bow on. Um, you use a glue gun and again, I like to use Gorilla Glue hot glue sticks. It's not sponsored by Gorilla Glue, but it's just my favorite. Um, it sticks really quick and it stays on really good. Now this last part, we're gonna put a generous amount of glue again, just to make sure it stays closed. And it's okay if it overlaps a little bit because the bow is gonna be right over this part. So we're gonna let that dry for a couple hours and come back. Okay, so we're gonna take a longer strip like this and we're gonna make a bow. So what we'll do is we will do this and then we'll do this to cross it over, make sure they're even, just like this. And actually you can put a little glue in between. If this is your center point, you can take this here. And I want this here, so I'll put a little glue more in the middle. We want it to be pretty wide, and you'll see why in a second. So we'll start like this. And let it sit for a second. Next part we're gonna do is take another strip. It doesn't have to be this long, but I just started with this. Um, and we're gonna wrap it around. And you can do it kind of while it's still a little wet, I guess. Um, just so that you can really play with it. I like to wrap it around a couple times and pull these edges down. Make sure you really pull it, make it look the way you want it to. And then I'm gonna glue this, so. Put glue there. Keep it like this. Even hide that back a little more. This is gonna be your bow. And you wanna do it where these edges line up together so they don't show. We're gonna kinda glue it up here, 
tightly. So here we go with the hot glue. And you'll kind of have to have something in front of this just to make sure that it stays on there because sometimes it falls. So I'm gonna put it right up against this other one, but before I do, you can take a look. This is what our lantern's gonna look like. And I actually put a candlestick in this one. You can do it with this one as well. And you can light it and it's cute. So you can cut down your candlesticks or just get a shorter candlestick 